I got to where I am today because I've always been interested in technology um, and saw a problem within the industry and wanted to solve it. My name is Anne-Marie Imafidon. I am 27 years old and I am the CEO of STEMET. STEMET is a social enterprise that is trying to inspire, support and encourage young women into STEM related fields. So STEM being science, technology, engineering and math. And this could be anything from panel events to what we call hackathons, which are kind of like coding workshops, to school trips. And um, everything that we run is always free, it's always fun, and there's always food. So one of the reasons why I love technology and why I run Cemex is because I'm a really creative person and technology allows me to be really creative. The second reason why I love technology and why I run STEMETS and why you should join me in STEM is technology is all about solving problems and there are a lot of problems to be solved. And whether it's huge problems like, you know, diseases that we have in the world or whether it's small problems like which train do I need to get or how do I book my tickets, technology is really great at solving all of them. And if you're working in technology or in the STEM field, you're able to solve those problems and help people. At school, I was a lovely person as I am now, just maybe not to my teachers. If I could go back, I don't think I'd give any advice to my teenage self. I mean, I'd, like I have no regrets. So everything's happened for a reason. I, I wouldn't do it any differently. As arrogant as that sounds, yeah. So my confidence comes from my sense of self-worth and my sense of my own value. Um, and for me, it's something that I'm able to measure myself. And that means that when I'm in different situations, it doesn't really matter what other people might be thinking because I know my value. So the best advice I've, I've ever been given has been to seek forgiveness, not permission. And what that means is that it's really easy for you to ask people whether you're allowed to do things or whether it's okay to do things or whether things have been done before. And life is so much better when you just do it. And if it wasn't okay, you then ask for forgiveness when it, you realise it wasn't okay. Because if you ask people for permission, they'll say no. And most of the times the answer is actually yes. There's no decision I ever make without kind of calculating what's the upside, what's the downside, what do I stand to lose from doing this. So I never really find myself taking huge risks that aren't already calculated. But you can still live riskily, like, you know, YOLO.